My name is Heidi Franson. I am a chemical engineer at Corteva AgriScience. Today we're going to talk about chromatography and chromatography is a way to basically separate mixture into its uh, individual components. Um, and how this is done is your sample is placed on a solid surface and uh, the solvent, you use a solvent to basically absorb or be on the surface of that solid surface and the components in that mixture will separate based on the resistance on the solid surface. So today we're going to look at uh, color chromatography and this is a pretty simple experiment. You just need some washable markers um, and you will need uh, coffee filters and some salt water and something to hold your salt water in. What you're gonna need to do is you take your coffee filter and you're going to cut it into a rectangle. And so because we're using these little plastic cups, our rectangle is about two inches wide, probably about four inches long. It doesn't need to be this long, we just cut them that way. Um, the other thing we needed to do is we drew a line about a half an inch up from the bottom of the paper. Um, to help us define where we're going to put our color on the line. Um, and so what we did, because there's a different phenomena that occurs, is we, we put dots on our papers. So we did, we did three different papers and we're going to do our primary colors and we're going to do our secondary colors and then we'd have brown and black. So we're going to um, go ahead and start this experiment. So um, basically what we have our salt water, which basically is like a quarter teaspoon of salt in about a cup of water. Um, and this one already has some salt water in, so I'm gonna start it over here. And I, I put them on these popsicle sticks so that I could just get it so that it's just touching the bottom of the cup. Um, another way to do this is you, you just want the you just want the salt water right at the bottom of the cup because you want the salt water to kind of move up the coffee filter. So uh, this is one way to do it so you don't put too much in there. Is I've got it now hanging in the cup, and then I'm going to just pour enough into the bottom so that there's some in the bottom and the paper can start absorbing it, but not too much to uh, impact the experiment. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of water into this one and we'll put our brown and black in there and this will take, I might have put a little too much so I'll just lean it against the side. So this is going to take a few minutes. You can already start to see the colors kind of move up the paper um, and we will come back in about five or 10 minutes and see what, if we can see any differences in the color streaks on the coffee filter. It's been about five minutes, so let's see what's happening with our, our color dots. So these are our primary colors, and you can see um, that there's a difference in how far they've traveled up the paper. Um, and you can also see that the blue, um, it pretty much all the pigment has moved up above the line, whereas the yellow is a little bit less so and the red's closer to the line. So that depends on the pigments and, um, uh, and how they react or inter interact with the salt water. So that's what those look like. And they still pretty much look blue, yellow, and red. So let's look at the secondary colors. Now these look a little bit different. So we had orange, green, and purple. And so when you look at these, and if we had let them dry a little bit more, the green is probably the one we could look at. Hopefully you can see there's a little bit of yellow in there, and you can see the blue way up at the top, so you can see a difference in the colors starting to separate. And you can also see a little bit of pink and a little bit of blue with the purple. So you can start to see those those pigments separate out in the different um, colors. And you can see it a little bit more if you let your paper dry. And we'll look at our brown and black example. So here's our brown and our black. And those are kind of interesting because I wouldn't have ever guessed that when you look at your brown, 
you can see orange and you can see purple. And when you look at your black, you got some, let me make sure that um, you've got some blues and some greens and some black in there. So it's interesting how the two different um, colors, what they separate out and what, what comes through when you do this experiment. So that is chromatography and there's lots of different art projects that you could do also with this. So if you think this was fun, you can look for some different crafts also to do with chromatography. Have a great day.